is going on, gents? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man will only take so much disrespect. And it's only a matter of time before he finally decides today's the day. Ah, gentlemen, we return to one of our favorite banquets of HMT. That's right, Maskistan. <laughs> I tell you, Maskistan is like a never ending buffet. There's always good dishes that are being put out. Now, this dish comes hot out of the oven as it was published on the 12th of August. Karnataka man offlines his wife after a fight over her mobile phone addiction. Father-in-law helps dispose of her body. How insufferable of a woman could she have been to where her own father helped with disposing of her. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! In a shocking incident, a man offlined his wife during an argument over her excessive usage of social media in Kopalu village in Karnataka's Mandia. The man, identified as Srinath, also suspected that his wife, Pooja, was having an affair. We all know social media has become one of the key ways that a lot of women use to actually start cheating on their partners. Days after terminating his wife, the man surrendered to the local police. It was then revealed that his father-in-law helped him dispose of her body in a nearby river, as per an India Today report. A heated argument had occurred between the couple three days prior to the termination, and that escalated over the days. The report revealed that in a fit of rage, Srinath strangled Pooja with her veil and terminated her. Srinath, along with his father-in-law, Shikar, disposed of the body. A motorcycle was used to carry the body, following which they attached a heavy stone to her body before discarding it in a nearby river. The couple had been married for nine years and also had a daughter. Pooja's habit of making reels and short videos strained their relationship, leading to regular fights between the two. Once again, social media, her disrespecting her husband. Why? Because for her, attention from others was more important to her than attention from her own husband. Fellas, if you're with a woman that excessively uses social media, get rid of her. You will never be enough for her. Let her go back to the streets. As of now, both Srinath and his father-in-law are in police custody at the Arakiri Police Station. A case has been registered and an investigation is underway. Well, well, well. A social media addict to the point that it strained their relationship. All she had to do was cut back, but she couldn't do it. Why? Because as we all know, 
When it comes to women, attention is a hell of a drug. Attention has become more vital to them than damn near oxygen. But as more and more women will find out, guess what? That social media world, it will come crashing down. Oh, well, oh, well. Far too many women, especially over here in America, they look at social media as the lifeline. It's their lifeblood. They live for getting attention. However, not all attention is good attention, as too many women will eventually find out. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in the home. I'm going to give this a 10. Method of execution, strangulation via the vicious veil. I'm going to give that a 20, up close and personal. Psychological impact. I'm going to give this a 15. And of course, for the brutality factor, as we all know, up close, personal, yeah, he literally I wonder if he was thinking of this particular song. Take my breath away. <laughs> I ain't shit. So for the brutality factor, I'm going to give that a 20 as well. So Srinath the Strangler gets a score of 65. Let me reiterate. Far too many women around the world use social media as an extension of themselves to create that false persona. Remember, back when they tried to actually shut down the like system on um, Instagram, how women lost their minds when they was thinking about shutting down OnlyFans. Women lost their minds. All we have to do, gentlemen, is stop giving them online validation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But as we all know, attention is a hell of a drug. These women will do anything to seek it. Good attention, bad attention. There's no such thing as bad attention to a woman. Positive or negative, all that matters is is that someone acknowledges them. That is how sad the modern woman truly has become. Well, read the article. Let me know what you guys think. How many women do you know have a legit social media addiction? Well, that's kind of a rhetorical question because damn near every woman has a social media addiction. Yep, anything for attention. Hey, it is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Let me know what you guys think. And to all you women out there who do any and everything just to get some form of attention, understand this, the power you think you have with your, I'm just going to call it just audacious nature. You want attention, but then you want to try to segregate the men who give you attention. All of that will go out. Feminism and the idea that all you need is a pretty face and a hoo-ha that's going to go out right along with it. Why? Because more and more men are going to end up becoming more and more indifferent. Ladies, I want you to think about this. The Passport OG put out a video a while ago talking about how women used to dress and how modesty used to be a thing. Ladies, that right there was one of your greatest superpowers, the imagination of us men. 
Why? Because when you wore more clothing, we actually worked harder to get you out of said clothing. However, nowadays, the allure, the mystery that you used to have, it is gone. Thank you, yoga pants. Thank you, leggings. Thank you, booty shorts. Thank you, sports bras. All of the things that you use to get attention have actually backfired. Why? Because us men have become more and more desensitized to the female body. You got nobody to blame but yourself. And that's why more and more men are simply no longer interested. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am out. Welcome. Murder on my mind. Yeah. Losing all my hope. Yeah. I'm going to do the crime. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue. I'm going to take the black pill. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue. I'm going to take the black pill.